This video is not meant to be a tutorial. Instead, it's meant to be an update on how I'm doing future tutorials. So I wanna clarify something before you start seeing this new feature in you know tutorials in the future. Anyways, um, you know that I'm a node guy, like half my tutorials are just like procedural node stuff. Uh, recently, I got an add-on, it's called Node Preview. And what it does is it puts this little image on top of every single node and you're thinking, okay, what's the point? Why do I want a white square? The reason is no matter what kind of node you use, whether it be like a procedural like texture or an image texture or whatever, um, now I'm going to have a preview on top of this. This is gonna be useful uh, because normally I'm kind of like talking about the math and stuff behind it and I'm just asking you to visualize it. Uh, but here we have a way to update it live um, actually faster, it seems, than it updates in the viewport. So you can see Voronoi, this is what changing scales looks like and randomness, and it works with like a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, you can combine it with, you know, math nodes. This will al also be showing a preview. Um, so this is what it looks like to do a greater than filter, uh, stuff like this. Um, point is, I want to, um, well, first of all, I just want to mention there is an affiliate link in the description. Like, don't don't get it wrong. This isn't a sense sponsored, uh, but also I do happen to find this useful. Um, there are going to be node previews in the future. Um, it's not something you necessarily need, but... I, I do think it will help with the explanation process in the same way that people want me to put like little key commands in the corner, which I refuse to do, by the way. I think it's like fucking stupid. I, I just don't like it. Learn learn the hotkeys. It's worth it. Um, in the same way people want that, this is the version uh, that I actually think is useful. So let me play around with it a bit more. Um, image texture. We could load it in. Right now it's empty, so it gives us the magenta thing like it would in the uh, viewport. I'm just going to load in like a random image of the gang. <laughs> And you can see that it's uh, loaded in here. Um, and if we view it, you know, it's going to be on our actual mesh. Um, as far as I've tested this, and I definitely haven't tested anything, it seems to work with most things I throw at it. So contrast, all this. Um, and interestingly, you can see that there's also these previews on top of BSDFs. It seems to work with like a multiple inputs. So this is what it looks like as is. I can make it more metallic, more not metallic, although I do think this is the kind of thing that would be easier to see with an image texture. More metallic, as you can see, it's updating. Less metallic. It seems to also work with transparency, transmission, less transmission. Um, there, there isn't really much to this. So again, not a tutorial, just an update on how I'm gonna do things. Only thing you need to know, if you get node preview, link in the description, let's go boys. Um, you're gonna install it the same way you'd install anything. You just, you know, go to install, pick the zip file. Uh, the only two things that matter, thumbnail size. Um, I'm going to be trying to figure out what the optimal uh, thumbnail size is for YouTube to not make it first so that it's visible, but two so it's not annoying. I'm going to have to play around with that. And second of all, uh, we have a thumbnail resolution, which is just like how much resources is it putting inside of this. I'm going to keep it at 128, but it seems to not make anything slower. And um, I do think it will help quite a bit with the uh, explaining the math process. Actually, the thing I'm most interested in, um, honestly, is the preview of the texture coordinates, because I feel like that's the thing I spend the most time explaining over and over again. So saying this is 0 to 1 on X, 0 to 1 on Y, etc. I don't want to explain it over and over again, so hopefully this will help. Anyways, uh, node preview. It's going to be in future tutorials. Don't be surprised when you see this like thing in a tutorial and you're like, oh, what setting did you enable to? No, it's going to be an add-on. Link in the description. It's great. I advocate for it. But of course, every time you click the link, I make a, a portion of that revenue. So keep that in mind. Anyways, this confusing update slash advertisement thing is over. I just want to be transparent about it. That's the essence of it, okay? What is this video? Okay, uh, thanks for watching. See you on a future tutorial where I actually explain something and there might be note previews in the corner. Bye.